So first of all, take it away, Eric. Thank you. Thank you uh, so much, Scott. And uh, thank you all. Um, good morning and good afternoon from here, the, uh, the Jerusalem Israel, uh, headquarters of uh, Jewish National Fund USA in Israel. Um, I couldn't think of a better group of people that I would uh, have this conversation with right now during these times. As the famous uh, Hebrew adage goes, how good and pleasant it is uh, for brethren to come together and uh, what an important time this is to come together. And um, I would like to share with you what is happening right now in Israel in general, and then more in depth, what Jewish National Fund uh, is doing about it, uh, because we are all doing collectively together uh, a heck of a lot. To date, um, Corona COVID-19 has taken a toll in Israel as it has done uh, internationally. And um, unfortunately, we have lost uh, 239 uh, citizens in Israel who have uh, perished. Um, you know, every life, the, the, the Hebrew Talmud says, Kol adam hu lo. every person is a world in of its own. And we mourn each of these lives that we have lost. At the same time, we are uh, incredibly fortunate um, that in such a small land, and I, I think that almost everyone on this call is very familiar with Israel, a very condensed country, which is uh, uh, part of the mission statement of Jewish National Fund of spreading out to our frontiers. The Negev and Galil is because of this, but you know, people are in the big cities between Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, Haifa Corridor, and uh, families together in apartment homes, large families, and this could have been a lot worse than it was. We are fortunate for that. At the same time, um, obviously health is not the only aspect of uh, COVID-19 and uh, there's economics and right now just to give uh, uh, to illustrate the impact of, on the economy that we have yet to know where it will end and we only know where it begins. I'll talk for instance about the impact on the tourism industry in Israel which is vast and something that of course at JNF as the largest service provider for Israel immersive experiences and many of our affiliates are involved in we know a lot about tourism. To date, over 4 billion shekel, which is roughly uh, the ratio is 3.5 to the dollar, but over 4 billion shekel net loss to the Israel tourism industry. We're talking about 250,000 people who are directly uh, um, in the tourism industry, hoteliers and uh, tourist providers and tour guides and so on, and indirectly over a million people impacted by this, okay? So we're talking about a population of Israel, which is roughly 9 million people, of them, a million people have been impacted. And that's just strictly talking about tourism. I haven't gotten yet to businesses, small businesses, and uh, so on. You could imagine every walk of life that was impacted, same as the United States, so it has been here. So what is Jewish National Fund doing about the situation? And uh, we're doing a lot, and time is short, and we want to all hear from uh, Brett as well. So I just want to give in very broad strokes a sense of the gamut of uh, what JNF is doing right now and what we have been doing for the past couple of months and we will need to continue doing until this is behind us. So we've been providing food deliveries to elderly, severely ill, Olim, other people in quarantine and so on. We're running call centers and distribution centers to run this. This is to thousands of people. Wellness phone calls to all populations in need, grocery shopping, pharmaceuticals, running daycare centers for children of medical professionals and other you know, first responders in order for people to do their jobs during these times, someone has to take care of their homes, so we're doing that as well. Art, entertainment, and treat kits to the families that have been stuck at home, financial support to those in need, providing packages with local produce. Israel shut its borders like everyone else, right? We have a lot of local produce. Again, our farmers, the people primarily in the Negev and Galilee, who are the farmers of Israel and they are the natural affiliates of JNF, um, and they were based also on, on the foreign workers coming in. So we ran a volunteer system, thousands of volunteers working the fields through JNF to provide the local produce. So first of all, we saved the farmers, but more importantly, Israel could continue feeding itself. Assistance to employers and employees, all the small businesses and people who are now seeking jobs. There is currently 27% unemployment in Israel due to the situation. We were at 4% before this. So providing assistance, HR services, marketing, uh, uh, job seekers working with their resumes and we're putting together as we speak a small business bureau association. Community building online, resilience, camaraderie events, buddy systems, general support, Olim and others in need 
online education systems and programs. Our Alexander Mus High School in Israel, we have moved. First of all, we evacuated everyone just in time. We had our little Entebbe with Elal to get everyone back home just in time. And uh, we've moved everything to the digital and uh, cyber world so we could continue the education as we have done with Green Horizons and the other, other education systems we're working with. Um, special needs, special in uniform, LOTEM, Red Mountain Riding Center, Alenegev, the various partners for population and special needs doing basically everything that they need right now, the complete service package. So we're talking about support systems and groups for the families, we're running visits to their homes, uh, running online programs, providing them with the tablets and laptops so they can partake in these programs. We're also providing short virtual tours of sites, nature, history, so people who are stuck at home can continue experiencing Israel. Online sales pro platforms for all these businesses uh, who need to continue functioning. There is what we call the mitzvah program that people now online can, can purchase there. And then we have art uh, shops so they could exhibit their work and purchase online through our delivery system. And the list goes on and on and on. Aggregately, we're talking about tens if not hundreds of thousands of people who have been impacted and assisted through our various affiliates, those 30 plus affiliates that Scott mentioned earlier. You all know their names, Hashemer Chadash, Makom, Nefesh Benefesh, Ale Negev, the list is too long to go through. Um, and we were able to do this uh, thanks to you, thanks to the leadership, the partners, the many donors of Jewish National Fund who are stepping up uh, they're giving more gifts, they're uh, paying their pledges early, and they are doing whatever it takes uh, so we could get that job done. And um, the news is that we have to keep on doing this. Our affiliates, when we call and we ask, what are you getting from others? What are you getting from the government of Israel? Uh, they're saying, we're not getting anything. And uh, this is really where they need Jewish National Fund USA, because without us, many, if not all, of our affiliates uh, will simply shut down. And not only will we be dropping the ball, like I said, on the national impact of hundreds of thousands of people, and I don't want to know, I can't imagine where Israel would be and what we would look like right now without the services that JNF is providing throughout the country. But more importantly, perhaps, or equally importantly, is that many of these affiliates will shut down. And the cost and ability to uh, set them back up when all this is behind us would simply be impossible. And that's why we have to keep running I do have, I wish I could share and we had the time uh, uh, to show you how we are touching them and the ongoing messages that we're getting from mayors and regional councils and the various organizations and people who are out there just thanking, they can't thank JNF enough and they appreciate that, especially during these times, the hardships for us, the hardships uh, on the US and uh, that our leadership is still there uh, standing with Israel and by Israel. And lastly, you saw, uh, I'm not gonna outline all the needs, but you saw some of them uh, from the wonderful presentation of Julie. And uh, please, please uh, feel free to contact us, uh, myself and my team in Israel, as well as uh, uh, the professionals in the US. And we have the lists of the needs that are ongoing and we're here to field uh, any questions. And again, I can't thank you enough for everything that you are doing. Thank you so much. And I will uh, pass it on now to our next speaker, uh, Brett, please take it.